We talked about Elon buying Twitter. Now let's talk about Kanye being almost directly linked with the rise of anti-Semitism within the U.S. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I go to a school that's in the SEC. I, I like to keep up with some of the games. I like to see what's going to happen, who we might be playing. My school is not going to make it. We aren't doing that great. But Georgia seems to be doing good. And I, I know people who like re, like to root for Georgia. And uh, I was keeping up with a lot of what was going on in Jacksonville because Fest is this weekend, or was this weekend. So, you know, I'm keeping up with Georgia and I'm keeping up with the city of Jacksonville. So, you know, seeing what's going up, scores, plays, all of that, seeing what's going on with Fest, who's on the lineup, just having a good time. And then I read reports of... Just anti-Semitic messages being posted during the game. Oh, buddy. Anti-Semitic messages seen at multiple places in Jacksonville this weekend. Officials in Jacksonville, Florida are con area condemned multiple anti-Semitic messages that appeared in public spaces this weekend, including a football stadium, highway overpass, and downtown building. An anti-Semitic message referencing rapper Kanye West was seen scrolling on the outside of TIAA uh, Bank Field in Jacksonville during the Georgia-Florida college football game on Saturday. According to the video shot by a relative of Vic Michalucci, a reporter for CNN affiliate WJXT. In the video, the words Kanye was right about the Jews are visible scrolling across the exterior of the stadium, referencing recent anti-Semitic comments from rapper Ye, formerly known as Kanye West. So, and you know what? This is not just hearsay. Shit just, uh... It just, uh, happened. Oh, why do you want to take a picture of that? Oh, why do you want to take a picture of that? So, like we covered, Kanye's going on a bit of a tirade right now. I don't know why, like, clearly his mental health is failing him. He is, I, I would say, I, I don't want to be like a backseat psychologist and just diagnose the man with something. But honestly, I do feel that his, his bipolarisms are more or less starting to evolve into full-grown schizophrenia. Because I've known a lot of bipolar people in my life who just went unmedicated for long enough that they just go into, you know, very schizophrenic tendencies to where it's basically just schizophrenia at that point. And I know some schizophrenic people who, who you know, the same paranoia and all of that. So I think that's what's going on with Kanye. And he's falling into some very far right conspiracy theories because of it. So he's and he's a big name guy. So he's going on a lot of interviews and talks and is getting really amplified across the board and you know the mo most people are just like oh it's Kanye he's just fucking crazy don't even listen to him like what the fuck's going on here just ignore it you know who's not ignoring it people who agree with him you know I'm I per, you know I go through 4chan boards I go through iFunny I go through you know I go through a lot of places, and I'm seeing just people just openly agreeing with Kanye's schizo rants. They're just, they're loving it. Now, he's a moral crusader now. He's like on the front lines to these people. He's a hero. He's a symbol. So they're going out and they're doing stuff like this. And it wasn't just, you know, in Jacksonville. Jacksonville is kind of a big target right now because within, you know, Florida, a fairly right-wing state, Jacksonville is kind of like uh, the Portland of Florida. It's uh, pretty left-leaning, but again, most cities in the in this country are fairly left-leaning. And, uh, you know, big influx of people due to the football game, but also due to Fest. So people just are putting their message out. And also, some very convenient timing. Because... 
there's uh there are some uh people in LA doing the same shit. This is a this is on over the 405, you know, major highway in LA and you're just getting neo Nazis just being very open about what they do now. I've heard of rumors that Kanye is going to appear at the latest AGDQ. How to lose three billion eighty percent? <laughs> yeah, no, he's fucking really laying into it now. These people will use any celebrity to boost their message. That's to be expected. Oh, one hundred percent. So the fact that their message is now more or less starting to become a mainstream message is what these people are celebrating. And Kanye, even though he's always been a little bit divisive, is fairly loved because he's you know made a lot of like classic songs. So they're trying to get a household name and make their politics, which is fringe, to a household belief. They're very different diagnosis, but the manic episodes can be very extreme if left untreated and encouraged, which he has been, similar to schizophrenia. Yeah, no, he's uh, definitely riding down into very mentally ill territory. I don't really care for Kanye's supposed mental issues. You can't hide behind being an outright awful person, so that's how we should treat him. Like I said, I have a little bit of sympathy for him because I've known people who you know go that way. But no, I think we should just... It's very funny how I was saying I'm very pro-free speech, but honestly, right now, I think the best course for the action for Kanye and to get a lot of these people to calm down is getting Kanye some help, getting him out of the public eye, getting him like back on his medication, getting him away from cameras, getting him out of all of those stress-inducing situations, and kind of silencing him, but more for his own good. Because the more he talks, the more he he openly starts to believe it. The more he says it and repeats it, the more he's starting to believe it. Because you know, we watched the Tucker interview. He's very timid. He's very scared to, you know, be going on the interview and to even be talking about it. But then he goes on Pierce Morgan not too long ago, and he's just very fucking aggro with it. He's just going fucking off on on this shit now and saying it out loud. It's honestly crazy. He's starting to backpedal slowly. He's lost a lot of sponsors and deals. He's talked about how he sympathizes with George Floyd now, or so he'll start singing a different tune once he loses even more money. Well, see, I think it's a little different with that. I think he still is very going to... He's just going to be anti-Semitic, 100%, with all of this. But he's also... He's always, you know, supported the Black Lives Matter movement in a more tongue-in-cheek way, but he's still been open to say that he does. Kanye's not a white nationalist. He's he's not. He he doesn't talk like one. He says a lot of similar things, but black nationalism also says some very similar things to white nationalism. Even to the point that, you know, a lot of people in the nation of Islam, you know, say that white people have it harder in today's world. Kanye is also saying the same thing. So, yeah. He's not a white nationalist, but man, white nationalists are going to fucking cling to him because he's at least somewhat saying their message. But I said he went on Pierce Morgan, and he's just become more aggro, so might as well show what that means. I have a question. Who do you think are the biggest vow white racists? The media. You think the media is racist? What? Please, next question. Please don't ask me any retarded questions. Okay. Let what? <laughs> Fucking what? Ask him a question, so he asked him a question, you know, to clarify. He's like, I said, it's, it's just. He's, he's deteriorating, much like my own sanity. But yeah, he is he is very aligned with white supremacists because 
they're amplifying similar messages, but just a little, little different, a little separately. Let, let me go to the, the next. We're not past are it. Are you unless happy you're that I said to... I'll focus let me explain what on? I, let me are explain. you happy that I said? I know. I heard what Whoa, you Whoa, brother. Why yay, are yay, you talking over yay. me? Yay. Let me, why, get, let me why, respond. Yay. Chris. Yay. I'm Chris. Chris. Let's respond. Let me Chris, respond, right? You want me to go on if I say to specify the business people that have raped my people that just so happen to be Jewish. I think what, what... At least with the Tucker interview, he was at least saying, trying to mask it. Now he's just Jewish. Just saying that the Jewish people are in charge of what's happened to, you know, his people. That it's all, it's fucking insane, you know? Why, as a white person, do you feel comfortable silencing black people and calling them crazy when they don't agree with you? Well, one, I'm not white. And two, Kanye, by definition, is crazy because he is bipolar. He's, you know, he's neurodivergent and, you know, mentally ill. And he's been unmedicated for several years now to where he's developing schizophrenic tendencies. So, yeah, I'm saying he's a little crazy because... By medical definition, he is. And I'm not for silencing him just so he's silenced. I'm more for silencing him because it'd be good for his mental health. You know, being constantly in the media, being always on your phone, being con you know exposed to unhealthy areas and high-stress situations when you're very vulnerable is not good for you at all. And especially now that you are inspiring uh, anti-Semitic messaging to go across the country from L.A. to Jacksonville. Maybe take a step back. Get on your medication. Find a loving support network. And don't stress yourself out and put yourself in the public eye. Maybe that would be best for him. I don't know. I'm not him and I'm not anyone, you know, close to him. But I'm just saying maybe him shutting the fuck up and getting some help would lead to him getting some help, being happier and healthier and a decrease in anti-Semitic instances. Just saying. He wasn't trying to mask it. They've edited out of the interview with Tucker, the worst parts. Oh no, that's fair. That's fair. I, w I will say that. They did edit out a lot of it on Tucker's show. But still, it's not anywhere like this. To me, the worst parts were more of him just saying that black people were the original Jews and the Jews now are very... It's a less convoluted way of what's going on here. Or it's a more convoluted way than what's happening here. Here, he's just going like, Jewish people are bad. And the other one, he's like, well, actually... Jewish people are good because we're Jews and the ones who aren't Jews are are bad because they've done they're the ones who've taken the word from us and you know it's fucking you know complicated. Meanwhile, here he is saying they control the media, all of that, you know. The, we, we all know the words. We all know the talking. By doing what you've just done, I find that I'm not even Jewish and I find that offensive. Why do you keep having to do that? I don't think I you know. get it at all. I don't I know. think you, un that's I don't you I understand the offense. I actually am uh, a person that's classified as black. You know, I classify myself as Jew. Uh, let's go top ten in each one of these categories, right? Let's read Michael B. Jordan's okay, but contract. Why would any of that? Let's okay, but Aaron why would Donald's any of that? Why bro, would any of hey, that? Bro, hey, hey, bro, I ain't finished. I ain't finished my sentence. Nothing you're, finish nothing my you're saying has idea. anything to do hey, with boy, regret. Hey, hey, boy. Don't call hey, me boy, boy. Don't finish. I told you. Oh, don't treat me like a boy then. I'm, I'm going to finish my sentence and my idea. Nothing you're saying has got anything to you're do not, with okay, the tweet. Cool. Uh, bro, it? I was in the middle of a sentence. Boy. Bro, it's like arguing with like people outside a gas station. It's just... It is sad. I, I I know a lot of people aren't going to feel this way, but I, I do. I do feel sympathy for for him. I, like I said, I want him to go get help, and I want him just to, like, 
get out of the public eye for a little bit. One for the sake of of himself and one for the sake of people who are now going to be caught in the crossfire from what he said. Because, hey, when you're, public, when you're in the public media and you have people listening to you, you have a responsibility to not say dumb shit like he is. 